rolling, and uh, I shall continue for what will probably be about an hour or hour and a half to color the cartoon that you just watched me draw. So I welcome everyone back. Thank you for coming back. And we'll get rolling on this. There we go. Oh, and Dave FTW, thank you so much for uh, following, as well as Archibald Bumbersnatch. I appreciate it. You guys are great. I need the follows. Oh, we've got still got a bunch of people watching. So good, good. Didn't lose most people, I think. Can't quite tell. Okay. Anyway, Dave, thank you for following. I appreciate the kind words, Dave. All right, so here it is. I just scanned it on my little scanner, and I pieced the pieces together because my I've got too small a scanner for the big size that I draw. That drawing I just did was 14 by 17 inches. And uh, let me grab my Wacom tablet here. So it took like uh, three pieces from the... Oh, thank you, Ginger and Juice. Thank you for following. Took three pieces to get it to, uh, to work. So thank you so much, fun, uh, folks, and thank you for uh, hanging around. I have uh, Barata ask what kind of Wacom tablet I use. I have the 22-inch one. It's the light one, not the big heavy one. I have the big heavy one in um, Tennessee. This is my California Wacom tablet, and I must say I prefer this one to the big heavy one. I don't have the new one that looks for the difference between your your hand and your stylus. I think I would just turn the hand detection off if I had that. But and even though I draw with a pencil, I would be lost without the Wacom tablet because I do all of this color stuff and clean up on the Wacom tablet. What I'm doing now is cleaning up the hickeys. And uh, I find that even if I were to draw in pen, I have just as many hickeys to clean up as when I draw in pencil. So it's not really a savings, even though you think the drawing would be cleaner. Perhaps it is, but then you get your rough sketch stuff on there showing through. I also come through and clean up a little bit of the drawings that I should have done a little more elegantly when I do the cleanup. So am I happy with the gimpy eye? That's a question. Not sure I'm happy with it or not. Maybe that's a little better. Dave FTW, I just got the XP Pen Artist 22 HD tablet and it's been really good. Very compatible comparable to uh Wacom. Okay. Well, I do live in a Macintosh world here, so uh, I don't have uh, don't have quite all of the PC uh, kind of choices available. I have checked out that new uh, iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil, 
and I prefer my Wacom. Ginger and Juice, thank you for following. I do appreciate it. So what I'm going to do now is just going to be uh, housekeeping, and I'm going to be doing this for a little while until I'm happy with fixing up all the little mistakes and getting rid of all the little bits of crud. This is, uh, this is housekeeping that very often cartoonists in my group do not do. Excuse me. Sorry for that noise, moving the microphone down, actually. Oh, sorry, I know that's loud. And I'm not hearing the sound. You getting stream buffer problems? It's looking to me, on my end, like the stream is okay. Unable to adjust quality settings on here, he has to unlock that. Quality settings? You mean like uh, the resolution from HD to less than HD? Is that something that I need to uh, unlock on my end? I'm not familiar with that. But I can tell you on my laptop that I have running right next to me, I'm not seeing any buffering, and it looks like it's running pretty cleanly. So, Dave, does that mean I don't have a choice to change the settings? I have to uh, be more popular? Do I have to be a Twitch partner or something? I have a window open here on my laptop next to me in Twitch. And it looks just fine. Yeah, I think it is at 2,000, Dave. So, uh, are you having trouble there, Dave? Is it, uh, Buffering for you. Guess I could change a setting. Let me take a look. Dave doesn't have problems. Hmm. Yeah, looking good to me too. I'm not sure what to tell you. Let 
Thank you, Peter C. Block. Oh, and B. Gold. Thank you so much for following. I do appreciate that. Oops. So this housekeeping stuff does take a while. And you know, not all of it is housekeeping. Some of it is uh, making the drawing a little more right than it was the first time. Dave asked, do I ever stream with music? No, I've decided not to do music because uh, I'm not a music kind of guy. In the days before Twitch, <laughs> the, which I which is pretty recently, I would not play music for myself. I would have CNN and Fox News and the Talking Heads talking all the time, which was nice because sometimes I'd get ideas for that, and it just helps me to have a little better view of the world to listen to the pundits. But I'm missing my pundits now while I work because I stream. And no, I don't want music. When I listen to these streams, Twitch Creative, I like hearing the person talk and I like getting a sense of the interaction. A lot of people will sit very quietly for hours on end just doing their regular work with their music playing. I notice all these little apps show people what song you're listening to on uh, Spotify. Who's Hattonen? Thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. And Doc Marty, so oh, thank you. I'm getting some more follows now. Thank you, folks. So what I'm doing now is house cleaning. Cleaning up the little bits of crud, the little places where my drawing isn't quite as elegant as it should have been. When I'm done with this house cleaning, I will uh, start coloring, but it's good to spend some time on the house cleaning, make sure things are right. Peter Blake, did you select on the top bar and then color range to get rid of the little black dirt? You can pick exactly the range within a color. Well, yeah, I... Uh, I went through a few uh, settings on set the contrast and switched it to being 100% uh, black after I bumped up the contrast a few times with an eye to cleaning out the muck. But you know, I don't want to clean it out too much because I don't want to lose the quality of the lighter lines. So I'm going to beef it up a little bit. So it's a matter of compromise. Uh, if I uh, clean it up very forcefully with those settings, then I lose the lighter pencil lines. So better to deal with a little bit of muck and uh, keep the line quality true to what I drew. It's not bad. You notice a lot of things I'm cleaning up are things that I actually did that I can't blame on the world. It's 
So thank you folks for the follows. I do appreciate it. I know you're watching a bunch of a bunch of uh what could be considered tedious housekeeping, but uh this is necessary stuff. Some cartoonists do their cartoons really dirty and they don't do their house cleaning. And uh that annoys me a bit. They should have a bit more uh bit more uh, concern for the reader who should not have to look at a bunch of little crummy hickeys. Blow up some cartoonist cartoons and look at all the hickeys in there that they didn't deal with. Some pretty darn messy ones. But I'm pretty good about the housekeeping. Let's give her a little bit of bumps up into her hair there. That's a little better. What I would like to find in Photoshop is a filter that would take out everything that's a single pixel. That would get rid of some of this muck that I wouldn't have to deal with. Because I don't think anything I ever draw with my pencil is going to result in a single pixel. If there's a filter like that somebody knows about, let me know. That would be a good convenience. Never found that. Okay, am I all cleaned up here? Is this good? Now, am I satisfied with this gimpy eye or do I want to fix it? Gimpy eye is a little bit funny. Is it funny enough? I'm not quite sure. Suppose. Let's just suppose I take it out. So. Peter C. Block writes, I think you might be able to do that there. You're picking the range with the picker on the little viewer. Maybe you can go down to a few pixels. Well, another problem that I have is that I'm using an older version of Photoshop. So these things don't always uh, make sense in the older version of Photoshop. Is that better? Starting to think that maybe it's better. I 
like for eyes to not match. It looks a little more sophisticated when things are not always symmetrical. So the not matching is good. Mm -hmm. All right. So here it is. This is the finished art for the cartoon. Now, the next question is, am I pleased enough with this in line art form that I'll go with the line art for the black and white without adding grayscale? And I'm thinking that maybe I will. You know, there's something elegant about uh, line art when you don't use grayscale. Kind of like the difference between a sailboat and a powerboat. Not a lot of cartoonists draw inline art for their finish. Sometimes I'll find that I'll do a nice line art like this and I'll, I'll think it's good and I'll put it up for the black and white version of the cartoon and then the newspapers, rather than using that, they'll take the color version, turn it into grayscale and print that is probably not going to be as elegant as the black and white and very frustrating to me that they choose to do that. Excuse me. So thank you folks for uh, hanging out here with me. 36 of you. That's pretty nice. Out West Matt, why not send both versions to editors? Well, I put up a black and white version and a color version of each cartoon. And, uh,. Um, typically, I'll do some grayscale in the black and white version, but if I'm happy with uh, the line art, like I think I am with this one, I prefer that they print the line art to the grayscale. If I post a grayscale, they'll print the grayscale. And uh, some of them are not going to like the line art, and you're going to grayscale out the color one that I give them. And I'm not, I don't have any choice about that, because that's just what they like to do. But I often like the line art better, as in this case, I think the line art is better than adding some grayscale to it. All right. That's just about done. I have, uh, on a couple of occasions, posted both line art, posted three versions, line art, color, and uh, gray. And that just gets the line art ignored. That's not worth doing. Because they just don't go with the line art. Oops. I could keep fiddling with this and I'm not necessarily improving it anymore. So I should quit and just go to finish.
oversee productions rights. I love line art, however, I'm not even good at shading, so I always mess up the line art whenever I try. Well, I'm sorry. But, uh, line art is nice. And people should appreciate it more. It's that sailboat compared to the powerboat. I think I'm overworking now. I'll stop futzing. This is done. Save. Okay, now. I need to prep this for color. Super Bowl time. Is it Super Bowl time now? Three o'clock? Goodness. You know, this needs little bit of oops oops there that's better pregame show oh my i'm not much of a football fan I might watch the Super Bowl halftime show and the show that just shows the commercials. Okay. I live in Los, oh, the Los Angeles media area, so uh, we don't have a football team here. Which, to my way of thinking, was a bit civilized, although it looks like we're getting the St. Louis Rams, the LA Rams come back. About which I do not care. I'm just being too fastidious now. Some of this is just not really necessary. Okay, so what I will do here is... Oh, and uh, thank you, Doc Marty's my last follower. I appreciate that. All right. Let's make this CMYK. And we'll save as. CMYK, I'm going to move it down to 400 DPI. Let's check out. Oh, let's give it a bunch of layers. Unlock that. Move that up to the top. Now let's, this black is going to be 100%. Oh, that's kind of nice. The Moda CMYK. Is the black showing up as 100% black? It is not. So let's 
select all and select the color range. We will make this 100% black. I'm going to take it out and fill with 100% black. Because sometimes darn Photoshop likes to give me trouble and doesn't want to fill with 100% black. But today it did. Not giving me trouble at all. So let's select the inverse. And we'll delete the white. Down here at the bottom, I will fill with white. Make sure the white is zero, 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 which it is. So let's fill. OK, that's looking good. And we will now bring the size down to 400 dpi. Which is where I'm going to color it. It seems to want to lose connection to my keyboard here. Wait for this to stop spinning while it thinks. Thank you again to everybody who's who's uh, watching and if you would please please follow me because I need more followers I do appreciate the following okay here we are so what colors do I want to make this It lends itself to wanting to be a different color for each of these rooms. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to throw some colors in. It's not much of a commitment. Oh, one th important thing to remember is that on my top layer, the black layer, I need to make that multiply because the idea is that you want all of your uh, colors under the black layer so that you're not leaving uh, blank spaces under your black lines. Black lines are just 100K on the K channel on top of the colors. Oh, Camelod, thank you so much for following. I appreciate that. So let's... Uh, go with uh, kind of a warm yellow over here. For the... For the elephant's bathroom. Ginger and Juice writes, I played football most of my life, 27 now, and coached for five years, and even I don't really care about the SB anymore. Funky Monkey writes, How does it feel knowing that your cartoons may be published in future history books for students to learn about past politics? I tell you, some of my biggest customers are um, textbooks because George W. Bush, you gotta love him, he did this No Child Left Behind thing, so uh, the kids in 8th uh, and 11th grades take their uh, social studies AP exam and required on the exam in every one of the 50 states is the interpretation of an editorial cartoon. So these testing services by our cartoons in the textbooks 
um, put cartoons in the textbooks because uh, the teachers teach to the test. So wonderful new customer for us. All the terrible things I've drawn about uh, President Bush and uh, he forces kids to do editorial cartoons for their homework. Number one email I get is uh, Dear Mr. Cagle, please explain the cartoon to me. My paper is due tomorrow. But lots of great uh, great um, textbook subscribers. I mean, textbook um, customers buying a paper use. 40 and 10. How's that look? I'm going to make her. Should I make it blue background over here or gray? You know, they argue for gray, huh? All right, let's do that. Let's make the gray uh, cool gray. <laughs> yes, watching Twitch helps you with your homework. I can see how um, some high school teachers of both uh, art or social studies could require kids to watch a Twitch stream sometime of uh, the editorial cartoonist. I do have a lot of kids doing their homework. Let's say 20. What's that look like? Oh, it's not bad. So give her try 16. Let's see what this looks like. That's that's better, more gray than blue, isn't it? Okay. No, I've made these sponge textures that I like. That I made from an actual sponge. I am somewhat tempted to get a uh, new uh, Photoshop because I'd like to use their brushes. Oops. And do more uh, watercolor y looking color. But um, I think this uh, sponge texture here really is just about all the texture I typically need in my cartoons. Waytoons writes, the passive white noise, your deep voice, the nature of your stream being slow, deliberate, and methodical makes for a very good background noise to delight, to, to relax to. Well, very good. The passive white noise, you know, that passive white noise is the fan in my computer. which probably turns off a little bit each time I uh, stop talking and the threshold kicks in. All right, let's have a little bit of white noise in the drawing. So I'll go up here to white. Bump up the brush size to that. Opacity to that. Let's put a little uh, white background in here, huh? Capacity 80. I'm just going to break up the edges. Break up the edges down here, too, so that there's a little bit of texture going on. And then let's uh, give her a little bit of uh, gray texture down here. Yeah, that's better. This is kind of nasty over there. That's the flint part, huh? Could give it a little bit of blue. Just a tiny little kick of blue. No, that was terrible. Step backwards on that. That was fine with the gray, wasn't it? Okay, a little bit of... Uh, 
brown on the ground wouldn't hurt. Alrighty. So thank you again, Waytoons. I appreciate it. You're following. Okay. Well, I know the toilet needs to be white. So let's go do that. And I'll come back and adjust that. Give it a little bit of crud on it so that it's not quite so blindingly clean. And uh, the pipes. Need to be 25. All right, let's make them 25. Bump this up a little. There we go. Tom Brady got booed. Oh. I don't, I rarely draw cartoons about sports. But there were a heck of a lot of uh, Inflate Gate Tom Brady cartoons. I think I drew one. Sometimes the story just becomes so loud you gotta draw sports. Right there's the little pipe, and let's give it a little bit darker going on. Here's a little darker, some darker there. Soften it up a little bit smaller. Okay, that's about all the detail I need on the pipe. Let me get a little bit darker over here. Oops. Oops, that was too dark. Why did that happen? Oops, I keep doing the same thing. to help and I can put in a bit of lighter do some details on the toilet seat
Oops, that was too dark. Capacity lighter. Okay. Oh, little lady, you just followed. Thank you very much. Okay, let's give the rat some color. Funky Monkey writes, are you just doing this by mouse right now? No, I've got my uh, Wacom stylus. I'm uh, drawing on the Wacom tablet. Darkening up the mouse. The rat. Give him a fleshy tail. And a fleshy ear. Yes. We can use some white eyes. About all the rat needs, I think. Okay. Funky Monkey writes, I don't get how they work. How can you draw on a black tablet and know where you are on the screen? All right. Here. Oh, let me twist the camera around and I will show you. Mm. This is my look down at the drawing table camera that I'm readjusting here. See if that gives you a view of the drawing area. Let's give that a try. Okay, here we are. This is my drawing area, okay? This is right in front of me, so you can see my whole messy studio. And this here is the Wacom tablet right in front of me and my uh, keyboard. And this is how I draw on the Wacom tablet with my stylus. This is my microphone, which is right in front of my head. So uh, here you get a full uh, studio view. And I think we've probably had enough of that. So just for perspective, that's where we are. OK, a little bit of uh, Fifteen, sixty-six, eighty. That's a good color for uh, water from Flint, huh? Water from Flint is pretty nasty stuff. Yeah, I, I use a Cintiq tablet. The Cintiq tablet is the one with the screen. And uh, 
I find that I need that. I'm not good for drawing on the blind black tablet. Gotta see what you're doing. See where I am. Alright, yeah, that water looks pretty nasty. Okay, little black girl. What shall your flesh tone be? Oversee Productions writes, The black tablets work the same way, but you don't have a picture to guide you. Basically, it represents the screen, so you can put your pen in the bottom right corner and the cursor will appear in the bottom right. It takes some getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's not that hard. Well, I tried it and didn't like it. I can't imagine doing anything without the Cintiq anymore. I'm doing any coloring without the Cintiq. People wonder why I don't do my drawings on the Cintiq. Why am I uh, spending all that time doing the pencil when I could just draw it on the Cintiq? The Cintiq being the Wacom monitor here. Yeah, and I think I find that it changes the nature of my drawings. I notice that in other cartoonists who switch to Cintiq, they do it to save time, and then they get a pretty uh, I'd say strong change in the way that their art looks. It looks um, hurried and you lose the nice line quality because they don't focus on the, they'll, they'll use kind of a standard width line or they'll draw in a standard width kind of way on the Wacom tablet and it looks uh, flat and hurried. Not a look that I prefer. Also, I like having original art. I think you give up a lot to not have original art anymore. I want to keep my original art. Kyle2213, thank you so much for following me. I appreciate that. Oversea Production says he prefers paper and pencil as well. Good. This is all good. All right. Let's give her some hair color. How about that? How's that look for her? No. Pump up our opacity again for her hair. See how this looks. That's not bad. Can't make it too black or I'll lose my... Uh, my line quality on top of it. Oh, that looks okay. A little bit darker for some shade. 
That's good. Let's give her uh, pink ribbon. And again, thank you everybody for being here. I appreciate it. And please do follow. I'm going to be uh, live streaming all my editorial cartoons from now on. I may do some uh, advertising work once in a while. I think I'll stream that too. If the client doesn't object. I did a album cover for my Rocker Sun the other day that you can see in the Twitch stream it hasn't been deleted yet. Twitch should uh, commit to not deleting streams. I think, uh, I think the deleting is not good. Nice to have a full record of everything. She's a little cutie. Okay. You give her a pink shirt as well. Teagile writes, you can export your streams when they finish onto YouTube, so they'll be uploaded pretty much indefinitely. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm simulcasting to YouTube, which puts them up there automatically. So I think that we've got good uh, good oops good copies of everything on YouTube. Although I haven't been using the Twitch tools to put them there, I've just been broadcasting to both. I don't think we get many people watching on YouTube. Because I've been promoting the Twitch stream rather than the YouTube. Let me just check. Lots of people busily drawing on Twitch Creative. Nope, people are not watching on YouTube. They just watch on uh, Twitch. I may give up on the YouTube and uh, do that copying everything over thing. Give her a pink shirt. Pink is sweet. I didn't put her in a dress, so uh, go with the pink shirt. Put her in a dress in my rough sketch. Butterscotch cookie, thank you so much for following. I appreciate it.
Super Bowl. I have a hard time getting excited about the Super Bowl. Let's give her a little bit of white texture. That's better. That helped. She needed that. Lady Gaga just finished the national anthem and the Blue Angels just flew over. Oh, that's very exciting. You know, time was when I'd be uh, drawing here at home quietly without anybody watching. I would have the Super Bowl on. But having the TV on is a distraction. with the gray tennis shoes here. Let's give them a bit of uh, the tail. Okay, I think she's looking okay. Oh, we need the color in this uh, drip area, don't we? Otherwise, it is not right. Okay. Give the elephant a color. Boy, I've been coloring on this for an hour already. It takes time to color. Love stick writes, I'm gonna try again. Hey man, what hardware do you use to draw? I use a blue pencil, which wants to drop out with color chroma key. I use a yellow pencil that's got a pink eraser on the end. And I color on my Wacom Cintiq 22 inch. So we'll bump him up a little bit. Give him some elephant flesh tone, which I think should probably be 2020. Make him purple. I like the elephant flesh tone to be purple. So I'll bump up the capacity, let's make him 100%. And that looks like a good thing, so I'll get the edges here. Is that too dark? Yeah, that's too dark. Light him up that much. That's a good elephant flesh tone, huh? About uh, 17 and 17. Magenta and cyan.
Let me draw these around. I don't do any paint bucket fills because I want all the color to be underneath the black lines. Love stick, be sure to uh, to follow me. I need the follows. Thank you, Love Stick. I appreciate the follow. Again, if you're just joining here, thank you, Love Stick. Um, this is a cartoon about the Flint, Michigan water thing. And uh, the idea of the cartoon is I've got the, the Republican elephant who represents the Rick Snyder administration in Michigan being Republican, pooping for the Flint water and uh, that is to lay blame at the hands of the Republicans who appointed this terrible city manager that ignored all the reality of the situation, ignored all the warnings, was indifferent to the suffering of the people of Flint. At the same time that the governor of Michigan seems to be wanting to lay the blame on the Obama, Obama administration and the EPA. So this is political in the sense that uh, I am laying the blame with the Republicans. Okay, Funky Monkey, you got it? Republicans who took over bankrupt Flint, ran it from the state level, and made the terrible decisions to run it into the ground and do such uh, terrible damage to the children of Flint who have uh, lead poisoning now. Thunderstorm85, nice to see you here. Please do follow me. Funky Monkey writes, what is Flint? Flint is a city in Michigan that is mostly minority, mostly black and uh, in which the children have been poisoned by the bad water supply which was brought upon them by indifferent and disinterested um, politicians who took over the city when the city went bankrupt leading to a much larger disaster than the initial bankruptcy of the city. So it's a terrible situation. Ah, thank you for uh, posting that, T. Guile. So why should I draw this editorial cartoon? It is because I blame the skin flint republican uh, skin flint republican administration in michigan for the terrible things they have uh, done to flint in the name of uh, being cheap okay now I need to do a little bit of uh, modeling on this pachyderm. Put that there.
So, in Britain, you don't get the Flint, Michigan news. Flint, Michigan is quite the big story here. Thousands of uh, kids with lead poisoning that will retard their development. Terrible, terrible situation. Poor city is just devastated. Devastated by poor government. Okay, well, you want more of the story? More of the story is that Flint went bankrupt after years of uh, losing business and neglect as the... It used to be a major auto manufacturing hub. Made famous in a Michael Moore movie called Roger and Me. It was his hometown. It was his first big uh, liberal document uh, documentary. So as the town has declined, it went bankrupt and was taken over by the state. Monkey, monkey, this is worse than the school shootings. This is uh, thousands and thousands of poor little kids that are poisoned by the city water and will have uh, brain damage and learning disabilities for the rest of their lives because of the indifference and poor management of uh, public officials who wanted to save a few bucks on the water supply and ran water through the city system from the polluted river. It is truly a terrible story. Anyway, Hillary Clinton is going to visit Flint, and so there should be a few more Flint stories happening. Maybe you'll get a little bit of it in the UK as Hillary goes there. I take it Hillary is news in the UK. I'm going to need to fix just a little bit of a hickey that I missed up here. That's a hickey from where I um, didn't get the, the scans to line up quite correctly. Oversee productions rights. The only part of American politics we get over here is the presidential election. Well, plenty of politics over here. I think I'll give him some brown eyes. Oops. On the wrong layer. Step backwards and go down here.
some white on the daisy leaves. bit of uh, orange So what uh, color should his shirt be? I need to deal with the edge of that wall, don't I? This commercial, this uh, coloring is turning out to be a long-winded affair. Okay, the edge of it probably just needs to be gray, huh? Try that. So, Dennis Doc, thank you so much for um, following. I appreciate it. I do need the follows. I'm going with gray here. This is a, yeah, this is a CMY kind of gray, which is good. That makes the black lines pop on it. So good, good. Is it too similar to the pipe? It is similar to the pipe. Give it a little bit of texture when I've laid this in. All right. Let's give it a little bit of uh, brown here and there. This looks a little nasty. Gives it a bit of a different color. I think I want a little bit of white breaking up the toilet. So, Dennis Doc, thank you again. I do appreciate the follow. Okay. A little bit, uh, well, let's just do his pants. I know I need to do his pants. And they should probably be blue jeans, huh? That, uh, picking a color for the pants is something I want to not draw a whole lot of attention to, so uh, I picked a color that looks like it will not draw too much attention. This blue jeans, gray, denim color.
I want it to look right, but not uh, draw your eye to it. Oh, I've got a couple comments on uh, YouTube. I've been looking. Barry Edwards writes, just tuned in, love the concept. Thank you, Barry. You want to talk more in chat? There's more people chatting on Twitch. So thank you for tuning in. Go to twitch.tv slash Daryl Cagle and see the Twitch feed. Because I'm afraid YouTube just tends to get lost in the shuffle. Okay, I think that's working. He needs some shoe color. Forty-five people followed today. That's great. Thank you, folks. Give him a little bit of white texture on the blue jeans. Blue jeans need a bit of texture. Give him a little bit of white flesh tones, too. Let's see if I like this. I mean, did I draw anything else in that layer? No. So no comments, folks. You sitting quietly. Okay, did that give him a little bit more uh, volume? Oh, Nikki, thank you so much for following. I do appreciate that. I'm going to have to decide on shirt color in a minute. That's something I've been putting off. So my apologies for that. All right. Monkey Monkey writes, how did you learn to Photoshop and what tips would you give? You know, I go when I go to Comic-Con, I always go to look at the, the comic book coloring artists. They always give a seminar. They show how they do everything. 
and they are uh, really good. And they're much more fastidious about this than I am. They use the masks all the time, and they uh, label all of their uh, layers very uh, carefully. And I'm not too good at that. That's too dark. Lighten that up just a little bit. Anyway, I just uh, learned it over time doing it my uh, myself the way I'm comfortable with. Big thing to learn is uh, the process of getting the color right for reproduction, which I described to you on all of my coloring videos, and I described earlier in the stream about putting the black hundred percent K line art on the top layer choosing multiply so the colors run underneath it and saving a CMYK so that uh, it stands up better to uh, poor registration in newspapers okay let's try some of this I'm going to try a little texture on the floor and walls see if I like it Ooh, that was too much. Lighten that down and soften it up. Okay, you can use a little bit of uh, grit, huh? Just a little bit of grit. Try that. All right, I've got to do the t-shirt. And I'm wondering if I should do it really uh, strong, like give him an orange t-shirt, because uh, I am making the point that he's Michigan. And uh, I hate to have that lost. So let's step back for a second. See what we got here. Yeah, I think he's going to get an orange, a bright orange t-shirt. to draw attention to the fact that that is Michigan. Could make it white, then it would be less noticeable. Uh, these choices are compromises. Red t-shirt? Oh boy, if that was red, that would just dominate the whole thing. You'd see nothing but the t-shirt. Let's go with uh, 25, 80, 0. stars on his shoulders. You do have a 
British sensibility about us Americans. Capacity 100. Oops. Let's hard that up. I'm actually uh, getting through this drawing a little faster than I thought I would. Been working on it since noon, so I'm into my fourth hour. I thought it would take me till 5:30, but I think I'm going to finish it pretty soon. Remember the gag is the girl at the right drinking the water, so uh, I do want the eye to be drawn to the gag. Okay, let's give this a little bit of shade. It's going to need a little bit of white texture on there. So let's do that new layer in case I don't like it. orange in there too. Witty Kenneth writes, Daryl, sometime you might take on the forest fire tax in California. Those in Los Padres Forest must pay this additional fee. I get that at my house here in Santa Barbara. $150 a year for a uh, forest fire fee added on to my uh, my um, well now it's an a it's a separate fee it comes from the BOE with a separate bill it's not really added on to anything I don't resent that um, the house is in a fire area And 150 bucks seems like a small price to pay. Now, the next question is Am I finished? Is this what I want the cartoon to look like? White Kenneth writes, Witty Kenneth writes, just say a COAD presentation on the Valley Fire, the 
that demolished Middletown, California. The say is just saw. Well, you know, Santa Barbara is a pretty fire-prone place, and I've had fire dancing all around here. And I'm in my house, which burned down in uh, fire in 1977, when I was in college. And uh, quite the history of fire here. And I want them to devote more resources to fire prevention. I tell you one thing that I don't understand is why the heck we don't have more goats because if they just bought a bunch of goats and put them up in the woods they would eat all of this brush and I like goats I suppose they'd have to put water out for them but aside from that why the hell don't we have more goats okay oh am I done is the next question I think I might be done. I think I'm finished with this guy. Huh? Denver touchdown. <laughs> uh, let's give her a little more color in her shading in her pants. Oops. Wrong layer. Okay, am I done? Am I done? Am I done? I think I'm done. Your trousers, not pants. All right. Are you going to draw something else now or go offline? Um, I think I'm just going to save this one. I'm going to do the black and white version for a few minutes. The reason for that is goats will eat the soil level and then cause erosion, although I would suggest mulching the soil. Is that they pull the roots out of the ground? I like goats. Okay, Michigan and Flint. I think this is going to be good, so I'm going to... Save, now let's save a copy to my final file. I'm going to send this out to newspapers this afternoon as well. This is going to be a big file, so I'll save it as a 9 quality JPEG. And I think that will get it below my 3.5 megabytes that is my size limit 1091 this is the 1091st drawing that I've done since I started the naming convention of doing things with numbers so it doesn't really mean anything um, and that was how big 2.9 megabyte. That's fine. Oops, don't do that. Cancel. All right, now I need to see how this looks in black and white because I have to make a black and white version. So let's save as. Gray. Okay, now I'll take a look at it in gray, and very often I am unhappy with what I see. Don't merge, okay. Hmm. Yeah, the elephant's too dark, and I've lost the background texture in his bathroom, haven't I? So this is going to take a little bit more work to make the gray version work. So let's go up here. We'll uh, lighten up the elephant.
not unusual for me I have to come back in and do this stuff. So we will lighten him up. Alright, he's looking a little bit better. He needed that lightening up. He needs that and now we need some more stuff going on in the background because I lost that when I lost the color. So let's go to some gray. Pump up my diameter a little bit. Capacity can be 20. needed some of this background stuff when I lost my uh, yellow of his bathroom. <sighs> well, it needed that. Let's see, does it need anything else? to make it work in black and white. I was, at the beginning I was saying I wasn't going to do a black and white version, I was just going to go with the line art, but I know the editors are going to prefer the black and white. It's not much you can do about it. The editors will, I mean the editors are going to prefer the gray tone. It's just what they do, they always prefer the gray tone, there's no getting around it. So rather than fight them and have them pick that inelegant uh, grayscale version of the color cartoon. Monkey Monkey writes, where are you living at the moment? Right now I'm in Santa Barbara, California. You know, I live between Santa Barbara and Nashville, Tennessee. So... Uh, Sometimes I'm there. But today I'm in beautiful Santa Barbara where it's 80 degrees today. Am I done? Do you live with any of your family? Remember you saying your wife back in Tennessee because of her job. My son Michael is here. In fact, he is a rocker and you can see the album cover that I did for him in a live stream just a few days ago. I think it's still up on Twitch, but it's certainly up on YouTube and it's up on DarylKagel.com. So uh, go check out my... Uh, punk rock album cover that I did for my son. Alright, I think that's looking okay. That's where I am with this. Yeah, I had to do the the grayscale. Otherwise everyone will complain. So let's save as oh, I've gotten that alright. Save 
flat and you get many people noticing you in public rights funky monkey no you know this is unusual for anybody to see my face and editorial cartoonists are anonymous kind of guys One oh nine one B. Flint Gray. Let's try that again. Save as. Let's see what size that is. Two point six. That's okay. I'm gonna go back to my color one. I suppose it's because you know the name but not the face. Actually, uh, you ask somebody to name an editorial cartoonist they can't do it they don't know the name either cartoons tend to be fungible like wheat you buy wheat from this farm buy wheat from that farm doesn't matter it's just wheat okay I'm gonna try flattening this one save as CMYK See how big, big that one turns out to be. So we have this 3.5 meg file size limit because, ooh, 6.2. Try saving that as a JPEG 10. Save as JPEG 10. Let's see what I come up with. Got to get my size down below 3.5 megs. And that's 3.5 megs as a JPEG 10, so I think that's looking okay. So I am done. So, folks, that's it. Oh, M, M. Garcia has just uh, followed me. Thank you so much. And thank you, uh, Silent Concert and Crazy Nido, who uh, followed while I was focused on this drawing and not quite finished um, that is my uh, cartoon that will go out to newspapers tonight and uh, the editors are going to see it when they come into work tomorrow on Monday and they may put it in their Tuesday paper um, or they may hold it for even longer um, you never know what they're going to do it just gets thrown into the mix anyway um, Thank you to everyone for uh, for watching, and please do, if you haven't uh, followed me yet, please do follow. I really appreciate the follows. And uh, I'll probably be doing another cartoon on Tuesday. Ever read the S.A. Politoon thread? I don't know the S.A. Politoon thread, but if you want to send me a link or something, I'll take a look. The S.A. Politoon thread. Oh, and Hani, thank you for following. I do appreciate it. Okay, so that's going to be it for me today. Um, you have seen this cartoon from uh, concept to finish, and I am all done. So uh, I'd say join me again on Tuesday. Keep a look uh, at uh, my Twitch TV page, and I'll, uh, I'll announce the next feed, but it'll probably be... Uh, all Tuesday afternoon that I'll be drawing and I'm gonna pretty soon I'm gonna start putting up a, a schedule of when everything is scheduled for going forward it's just uh, I've resisted doing that because um, it imposes on my lifestyle maybe I want to take a nap and uh, I gotta get past that because it's a new age when I must do the live feeds so okay everybody thank you so much um, and uh, Come join me next time. Recommend me to your friends. Thank you so much for all of your follows today. Thank you.